Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to show you this little trick that I came up with. Actually, I stole this from NYCNC uh, and just sort of repurposed it here on the 3040. So what I did is I took the chuck off the fourth axis that came with the machine and mounted it directly to the bed. Now, this comes off the uh, fourth axis chuck just via these three screws or bolts here. Uh, and it came off very easily and I just actually used uh, some T-nuts I got from Open Builds that went on the back. They were the perfect length to fit in here. Now I've only been able to get two to lock this down. This third one is just a little bit off. If I probably ground down these clips so it would slide over, um, you know, maybe another half a millimeter, I think I'd probably get all three. But what I'm going to do in the future is actually machine uh, an aluminum plate to mount this to and then have the holes aligned here. Because what I've also done is I've ordered a lower profile chuck because this sits rather high. Now it still works here. All you do is loosen these two bolts up, move the spindle up and uh, works pretty good and you can use you know moderately high piece of round stock so i've been using this to cut some bushings uh instead of the lathe just to see kind of how it works and it, it's done well and so i've been doing it out of uh delrin and again more than rigid enough to do the cutting on here now some of the drawbacks though of using this particular chuck is this chuck key obviously hit so what i've been doing is chucking up the material and then sliding this on locking it down uh, and that's one of the reasons I've gone with the uh, other chuck is it's a little bit lower profile than this. Uh, also, this chuck is not reversible where the chuck that I purchased from eBay is reversible. So I can flip these jaws out and hold a bigger piece of stock in here, which is uh, important because I can only go up in this one to about an inch, inch and a quarter stock uh, on here. And I want to go be able to go a little bit bigger. So the chuck which I've ordered takes me up to about three inches, which is a really good fit for what I want to do here. Um, however, already said, make, making the investment, well, these chucks aren't cheap because even the, you know, the cheap Chinese one I ordered off of eBay that's a little bit larger and lower profile was still about 70 bucks. And you know, a chuck similar to this can run upwards of 100. Uh, if you don't have a big use for this where you want to create a, a jig as I'm doing, um, again, just taking this fourth axis uh, chuck and using it in this way seems to work well or has worked well for me. So again, just wanted to share it with you guys because I found it interesting. Figured you guys might if you have a, a 30 odd X series machine. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. The bell button will be coming up over there. Put out regular content. Also, uh, Swag Shop is going to be up in the corner. Help support the channel. And we'll see you guys in the next video where we build something else. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.